Hello, everybody. Okay, wait. First. Okay, hi, everyone. Good evening. Uh, so, before we proceed, I would like to check our Facebook first. Either the live is on or not. Yes, okay. So, if you are from Facebook, please comment or maybe you are from YouTube, please come in and comment. Okay, over, yeah. over. Yes. So, Penang, how, yes. how is it? How is everything? Uh, Penang, the, the weather is good. Today is raining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here also raining. Uh, oh, there also raining, okay. Yes, yes. But, but positive case is not good. Uh, it's still over yesterday is still 23 i think mm. so everyone need to be just follow the sop la. so that's why we are doing live from from two places yes so uh today we would like to share about a new product again and then uh, this time also from raspberry pi before this we have shared about raspberry pi compute module 4 so this time you you like to introduce uh where is it a raspberry pi 400 okay. keyboard <laughs> yeah yeah so is it the keyboard <laughs> <laughs> so uh 400 okay so it seems like it skip most of the numbers from four to the 400 so <laughs> Actually, uh, I can say this one is a new product line. So, yes. uh, is it a keyboard? So, okay. Yeah, it seems like a keyboard. It's a keyboard. Uh, but it's not only a keyboard. Okay. Yep. It complete with, a, they have a Raspberry Pi inside. Okay. You can see yep. they have a port here. They have a LAN port, USB. And then type c for power and then two uh, this one micro hdmi and then the sd card for operating system and then also they have a gpio gpio header pin okay horizontal horizontal, yes, horizontal. horizontal. Yep. and then uh, this all the component or the motherboard is inside the the enclosure of keyboard Okay, so, um, okay, okay. so you, if you see from the side, we, you will be like this. So it is exactly like a Raspberry Pi keyboard. If you are using a Raspberry Pi keyboard before, it is exactly, but they have an improvement. They have a, a computer inside. Okay, actually the, oh, the, okay. Yeah, the Raspberry Pi, uh, 400 is inspired by Commodore 64. So this one is uh, 8-bit home computer introduced in January 1982. So during this time, uh, I'm not born yet. So <laughs> I'm not sure about this product. Um, so maybe you can share about this. You can see this one before, over. Uh, I never seen this one before. So. Uh... This is the second picture. Second time I saw this because <laughs> I saw this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's a uh, very practical function, uh, you know. It's very practical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, this is a quick overview of Raspberry Pi 400. So it comes with quad core Cortex A72 64 bit SOC at 1.8 gigahertz. So if you compare to the Raspberry Pi 4, this one is faster. And then they have a dual band Wi-Fi, IEEE 802.11ac. And then uh, equipped with 4 GB RAM. Yep. Uh, the good things, this uh, keyboard, they have a heat sink. They have a huge heat sink inside. Because it, uh, they have an advantage of the, because the keyboard also big, then they can put a huge heat sink. Uh, so the processor always stay cool. And then also they have a Bluetooth 5.0 and BLE. Okay. 
<clears throat> so maybe before we uh, go to the spec, maybe we can uh, show a bit about the box. This one is a uh, box of the Raspberry Pi 400. Okay. Spec. <clears throat> We, we, I think we are launching worldwide, right? Uh, together. Yes, yes. Yeah, again, uh, again, uh, worldwide. <laughs> so we check the inside to inside is empty because I put it out. <laughs> okay, this is a Raspberry Pi 400. Uh, so you can see the port here, same as uh, in the slide. Okay, if we compare to the Raspberry Pi keyboard, and then the 400 okay so okay this one so you can ah, see a different yeah okay uh, the bottom one is a raspberry, uh, raspberry pi keyboard and then this one is a raspberry pi 400 but how, how about if we see from the top only from the top or oh, this one oh <laughs> exactly same lah. but they have a few different here you can see the power button hey sorry Okay, you can see the, they have a power button and then the label for the power, LED power. Yep. yep. And then uh, the rest, I think, is the same. same. Yep, yep. So it, okay. it's very difficult to see the difference yeah. from the top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so we proceed to the slide. So about the Raspberry Pi 400 specification. Uh, so Raspberry Pi 400, uh, release date is today, 2nd November. So actually, uh, uh, it is launched at 8 a.m. at uh, United Kingdom. So here we uh, we at 4 p.m. Uh, and then for Raspberry Pi model, Raspberry Pi 4 model B, release date at 24 June 2019. Last year. Uh, Yes, Raspberry Pi 400 is a keyboard computer, so of course they have a keyboard layout. Uh, they have a few layout, and then of course here we are using US layout. They have a 78 keys, uh, and then processor is using the same processor, but uh, mm. the the Raspberry Pi 400 is the latest latest version. Yeah, slightly different. Uh, slightly, slightly different. That this one yep. they using the CO at the end. They have a CO for Raspberry Pi 4 model B is a BO. Yep. So they have a, a bit faster. Yep, a bit faster. That's why the <coughs> clock is uh, slightly faster. But not mm -hmm. slight, also 20% faster actually. Oh, okay. Yep. Huge difference. Uh, uh, core type is same for both. And then they have a power button for Raspberry Pi 400. Uh, this one is really helpful because uh, before this, we need to uh, power off the, the adapter, okay? adapter at Raspberry Pi. So they have a built-in uh, power button at the keyboard. And then uh, the spill clock, this one, Raspberry Pi 400, have 1.8 gigahertz, can go up to 1.8 gigahertz. And then for Model B, only 1.5, okay? For GPU and multimedia, it's still the same. And then audio, audio output, uh, Raspberry Pi 400 only support for HDMI only, no uh, 3.5 mm audio jack. And then uh, <clears throat> OS storage, still using the micro SD or you can boot from the USB. Uh, micro SD slot, uh, Raspberry Pi 400 using a push, 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 push concept. And then for Raspberry Pi 4 only push, pull. This one is uh, uh, push, push means uh, you want to insert the, the SD card, you need to push, and then you want to take out the, the SD card, you need to push again, okay? Compared to the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, uh, you need to push and then you just take out, just pull to take out. And then for RAM, uh, Raspberry Pi 400 only comes with one variant, uh, 4GB. Yep. Uh, while Raspberry Pi 4 comes with 1 GB, 2 GB, 4 GB, and 8 GB. And then Ethernet, same. Power of Ethernet, PoE. So Raspberry Pi 400, not available. 
for Raspberry Pi 4, you need an additional PoE head. And then next for USB port, USB port uh, Raspberry Pi 400 comes with two USB 3.0 and then one USB 2.0, okay? And then HDMI, Wi-Fi, still same. And then Bluetooth antenna also same. And then the GPIO, uh, Raspberry Pi 400 still uh, break out the GPIO, but uh, in the right angle. Yep. And then it, it run Raspberry Pi OS. Dimension, of course, it, uh, dimension for a keyboard, 285mm times 122mm times height of height of 21mm. And then the, this one is, uh, <clears throat> I think it's very good for the thermal performance. They have a built-in heatsink inside the Raspberry Pi 400. Don't uh, go away. Well, we will show that. We will show that yes. later. Don't go yes. away. And then for power input, uh, Raspberry Pi 400, you, you only can power up through 5 volt via USB type C up to 3 ampere. And then they have no DC, DSI and CSI port at Raspberry Pi 400. And last is, is a lock. So Raspberry Pi 400 uh, equipped with the Kensington lock. Kensington lock, sorry. Yeah. Kensington. Okay. Yep. Kensington yep. lock. Here is it. Okay. Yes. So by the way, any questions, uh, just post under the comment or from YouTube, yeah, right side of the YouTube. We will try to answer it. Okay. They, they have a question. They have a question here over. <clears throat> so what is the maximum bit rate H.265 can decode? Um, to be frank, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, they are the same spec as Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. So if you look at the spec again, uh, this is more to video encoding or decoding. Uh, you can get 4K at 60 frame per second if you use one HDMI port. If you want to use two, it can decode up to 4K, two 4K per at uh, 30 frame per second. Okay. Okay. So this one is a layout of the Raspberry Pi 400. Uh, so we start from the where? So maybe from the power button. They yeah, have a power, power button. button at F10, but you need to press the function key first. Okay, function key and then press the power button to turn mm -hmm. off the Raspberry Pi or also the uh, to turn on the Raspberry Pi. Yeah. And that then they have a 40 pin GPIO, yeah. horizontal header. Uh, push, push micro SD slot. Okay. Dual micro HDMI supports 4K display. What what is push push? Uh, it is push push. Uh, means uh, if you want to put the the SD card, you need to push, and then you want to take out the Raspberry Pi, you need to push again. Okay, push push. Okay, you, different from the Raspberry Pi Four, you you just uh, push to insert the SD card, and then just pull to take out the uh, SD card. So that one is different. Okay, later we will show you. Okay, they have a USB-C power input, uh, two USB 3.0, the blue one here, and then a normal USB 2.0, gigabit Ethernet, and also the Kensington lock here. So Kensington lock, uh, normally we they put uh, in the like a CPU or maybe a laptop, right? So this one, uh, uh, they put in the keyboard keyboard computer because inside they have a computer. Why why they take away the audio jack? If you notice, there's no audio jack. Mm. So <laughs> you, you just need a you, uh, HDMI. 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 Uh, they, they, they don't really take, uh, take away the, the audio jack. Lah. If you look carefully, there's no space already. <laughs> Yes, there's no space already. Yeah. Okay. So this one uh, about the SD card, uh, you can use a Raspberry Pi OS. Yeah, just update it lah. Uh, I I just worried that some don't really update from since last year. <laughs> so you just update your uh, OS to the latest one, and it will boot up. No problem. Mm -hmm. 
So they have a comment here from Johnson Lum. Anyway. Kensington Lock is a clever touch, can leave it securely for events or demo stations in projects. So yes, maybe it's a good idea. It's like, uh, you know, the you go to the phone showroom, uh, they have a lock for the phone. Uh, now you can lock the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, this Raspberry Pi 400 also comes with USB boot ready, means you can uh, run uh, the operating system from the USB, okay, instead of uh, SD card. Yep. Later, then, we'll uh, also, yeah, later, we'll uh, also. Over also tried with Ubuntu, right? 20.10. 20, 20. Yeah, this one is so the latest. Don't go, don't go away, we will show all those. Okay, this one is, is a thermal performance for Raspberry Pi 400. You can see here, okay, this one quite inter interesting. Uh, the, the orange one is a Raspberry Pi 4 with cooling fan. Yeah, uh, this case, yeah, I'm holding this case. Uh, actually, just uh, maybe uh, I'll show them. Mm -hmm. So, this is the case. Uh, okay, oh, so okay. This is the case, uh, ABS case. Lah. ABS case with a cooling fan on top of it. So that is the graph. And if you look at the graph again, that is the overclock, the Raspberry Pi 4 model B, 4 gigabit, uh, 4 gigabyte uh, RAM version to 1.8 gigahertz uh, of the clock speed. Lah. Because the default, actually the default uh, clock speed for 4, 4 B is uh, 1.5 only, okay? So we, we wanted to do at par, la, at par with the uh, 400, Raspberry Pi 400. So we overclock the Raspberry Pi 4B. So the orange is actually referred to the this case with the cooling fan. So actually this case with cooling fan, it can still uh, sustain at 1.8 uh, gigahertz. Uh, this is doing stress. Barry, uh, stress test. Stress test mean uh, you stress all the four core of CPU to the maximum speed. Then we record the temperature. So if you look at the graph, uh, the highest is still uh, 4B with this case. The green one. So uh, it is a uh, takeover from here. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. So the green one, we are using Argon 1 case. So those that familiar with Argon 1, Argon 1 is one of the top uh, case uh, among all the other case because it has very good uh, thermal performance uh, because it, it comes with a big heat sink. So uh, for the Argon 1, uh, it don't have the, the active cooling, right? They don't, don't have a fan. Yes, right? yes. They have a fan inside. Uh, okay. Yeah. Argon Neo doesn't have the fan. Argon Neo is oh. just passive. Uh, Argon One have two. The passive cooling is actually the case itself. Okay, it have the two big pole of uh, aluminum touch, touching the RAM and also the CPU. Then on top of the passive cooling, it comes with a cooling fan. So that cooling fan, you will need uh, some script to control the fan speed. So even with that, um, it's still higher than the 400 okay the temperature is still higher of course it's very good uh, because it's at uh, lower than 65 degrees celsius but at 1.8 gigahertz the raspberry pi 400 doesn't touch 55 degrees celsius at all if you look at the graph so that is around 10 degrees celsius of difference and that's by 400, you cannot add anything. It's ready out of box. You cannot add a cooling fan. You cannot add a heat sink. It's there already. So uh, that's why we, we like it, like this new product a lot. Okay. Now, of course, uh, another thing is uh, Argon 1 comes with a power button. So it's a good uh, case to compare with the Raspberry Pi 400 because the Raspberry Pi 400 comes with a power button. So, yes, it's very okay. good performance. Uh, over there, for a question here. Yeah. So, Raspberry Pi 400 is actually overclocked to 1.8 by default because have active heatsink fan, right? 
Uh, not really, uh, not really uh, overclocked. Uh, because as um, uh, Idris mentioned just now, the CPU use, uh, the CPU packaging uh, actually use slightly uh, latest version, uh, which is C0 compared to Raspberry Pi 4B is P0. So that C0 have a certain improvement of the thermal and also the clock. So it's more to power efficiency. Uh, so they can clock it by default to uh, 1.8 uh, gigahertz. Of course, without the heat seeing, uh, they can clock it, but it will overheat very fast. Uh. So if you ask yes or no, uh, yeah, without the heat sink, it will also overheat. Uh. So it's, it's the same as uh, Pi 4B. Uh, although it's 1.5, you can still run uh, 1.8, but if you do stress test, uh, it will overheat. <laughs> Okay, so next slide. So this one for uh, Raspberry Pi 400 bits overclock, right? Yeah, okay. I just noticed that the, the graph, the orange, we, I didn't, oh, I should have used the, the one, uh, 2.147 for Raspberry Pi 400. Okay. I'll update this. Uh. This one, the orange should be higher a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, this one, we overclock every setup. Uh, we overclock the Pi 400 to 2.147. That is uh, the maximum stable clock frequency for Pi 4B. We know, uh, we know of. So every setup we overclock to 2.147. Still, so even Raspberry Pi 4 can overclock up to 2.147. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Actually, we did it just uh, this graph, I didn't combine the right uh, data set. Uh, okay. So you can, you can overclock it. Of course, overclock is at your own risk uh, because you actually void the warranty because you, you need to provide over voltage uh, to the CPU uh, for the extra. Uh, speed of the clock. Uh. Uh, just to uh, let you see the thermal performance. Uh, okay. Uh, I have released an article also on the details of every setup. So we did all the setup uh, that it will show in the graph uh, in the presentation. You can go there and uh, update this graph also. Uh, okay. So as you can see, if we, uh, the, oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, there is the blue color is actually Pi 400 at uh, 2.147. I miss it. Okay. The blue color, the blue color line is actually uh, Pi 400 at 2.147. Okay. Uh, the green color is actually the Argon 1 case uh, with the 4B at 2.147 gigahertz. Okay. So it means the blue color and orange color is different between uh, before overclock and after overclock, right? For yes. Yes, yes, correct. Orange color is default. We do not, you do not need to overclock. The Raspberry Pi 400 come. If you boot it up, you put the SD card inside, you put the, uh, you know, whatever OS that you like that being supported uh, by 4B, it should boot up and the default clock is, maximum default clock is uh, 1.8 gigahertz. Okay. okay. So this next. Is, yeah, this is the right graph uh, actually. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is a heat sink inside uh -huh. the uh, 400. So big, so big. So I can show you guys live here. Let me just adjust. It is, can you show the other camera? A little bit, eh? <laughs> yeah, so guys, uh, this is actually five. 400 just to let you see okay all the gpio this is a push pull uh micro sd card slot hdmi da, 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 da. kensington lock so i have dismantled it don't go and dismantle your own 500 <laughs> it's not that easy there's no screw uh you need to be careful it's like a lcd uh screen on on your phone you know so it's very difficult to open and if you scratch it, then it's on your own wrist. Huh? So anyway, this is the bottom of the keyboard. So you have 
a very big aluminum heat sink and the cpu actually over here and it's being locked uh, okay screw down and secure touching the cpu of course there's also a thermal pad uh. so that's the pcb also this is the gpio this is usb 3 2 and this is rj45 for the gigabit internet okay so this is actually connected to the keyboard keypad okay so this heat sink is almost as big as the keyboard <laughs> so yes. that that is the thing that's the magic that helped it to keep cool stay cool yeah okay okay next uh so is this the worth it worth it <laughs> Is it worth it? You calculate it. Uh, you go and check the the price lah. You can. It's worth this one is uh, is the easy comparison lah. So Raspberry Pi four hundred is maybe it's equal to Raspberry Pi four four GB plus Argon K Argon one case and then also a Raspberry Pi keyboard. You can add up and compare the price. Actually, okay. it's better than actually we want we wanted to put a better than more than why. Because it's running at higher speed compared to 4B, 4GB, then Argon case is better than Argon case uh, in terms of thermal performance. And of course, uh, the button is over there also, the power button is over there. You get uh, most of the port from the Argon case, except for the audio. Uh, what we know is it doesn't have the audio jack. So your audio out should go to your monitor through HDMI. Uh. Okay, and of course it's tidier lah. You don't need another extra cable for your keyboard. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So they have a question here from Johnson Lam. Not sure okay. if this was asked before. Can this function independently as a wireless or wired USB keyboard to other device natively, or we have to do some setting or hacks? I think you need to do some hacking because it itself is a computer. a computer yeah itself is a computer so uh, i i don't think it's worth to to make it as a wireless keyboard you better buy a wireless keyboard <laughs> <laughs> okay it, it, next. Will cost, it will still cost uh, 300 something uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes although it's you know it's worth than all the three combined together but <laughs> Okay, uh, instead of a <laughs> single kit of Raspberry Pi 400, uh, Raspberry Pi also offers a few variants of kit for Raspberry Pi 400. So this is one of the of that uh, comes with... Yes. Uh, this, I think before we talk about that, uh, let's talk about uh, whether they can use back, uh, you know, the Raspberry Pi 4B owner, existing owner. Can they use back all the accessory or not? Mm, means Raspberry Pi let's 4. Say, yeah, so let's say uh, those that have Raspberry Pi 4B already, so can they buy the 400 itself? Or can they buy the 400 itself? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, everything that you use on 4B, okay, is compatible with uh, Raspberry Pi 400. The power is USB type C. Okay, USB type C over here. The micro SD card is the same. HDMI, micro HDMI. So basically, uh, these three is the differences. If you still remember from 3B plus, move to 4B, uh, mm -hmm. they changed the uh, USB type C. They changed the HDMI. So these two is compatible from 4B to 400. So you can utilize back those but but if you want another set of uh, computer then better get the whole set lah. that's why that's why there's a kit lah. there's a kit yes. for it yep. Yep. okay uh, or maybe we, we want to show product page so yeah uh, after this uh yeah it's up to you but okay. I need to highlight we have limited stock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we just finish the slide first and then we show the product page. Yeah, okay? no problem. So you, you can see here, uh, 
the Raspberry Pi 400 kits comes with, uh, of course, the Raspberry Pi 400 itself. And then they have, uh, they want, this one is a power, USB type C power, uh, adapter. And then uh, Raspberry Pi mouse, uh, SD card with noobs, uh, micro HDMI cable, and then also a, a official Raspberry Pi beginner's guide. This one is the fourth edition, uh, special for Raspberry Pi 400. Yep, yep. So this 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 is the list. Uh, so this this one is about the uh, layout and then also how to say the power uh, the power uh, the compatibility uh, in the some in the country uh, I think because uh, yeah. for example uh, uh, they have a few things you need to consider uh, before bundle up the kit. So currently Raspberry Pi come with uh, UK layout keyboard and UK power plug. And then uh, also the US layout keyboard and US power plug. But for now in our stock, we only have a UK layout and UK power plug. But uh, this uh, just a reminder because uh, in Malaysia, we are using US layout keyboard. Okay. Yeah. US layout keyboard. We are using I UK did. power plug, but uh, US layout keyboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but actually, is uh, there's a, a very small differences only lah. There's some mm. of the key uh, symbol, example, like, like a symbol. Yeah, alias. You know, alias. Uh, where mm. you type email address. Uh, over alias where uh, the email address. So that alias is not at normally the US keyboard is uh, shift number two. Uh, but for UK keyboard is like function and uh, function. I cannot remember where <laughs> one of the key. Lah. So that, yes. that is one of the maybe uh, one of the key that might affect you if you get a UK layout keyboard. Mm. Okay. But for a single product, Raspberry Pi 400 only, we comes with uh, yeah. US layout. US okay, layout. US layout. Yeah. 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 This one is because... Uh, uh, Offer from the Raspberry Pi itself. Yeah, it's official so, from Raspberry Pi. Uh, official from Raspberry Pi. So because of that, we create uh, our own kit yeah, that own combine uh, US keyboard, US uh, Raspberry Pi 400. Yep. Uh, and then with the UK plug. UK okay. plug or EU plug? Okay. Uh, okay, EU plug. So for EU Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia, Malaysia Singapore, and Singapore, UK, right? Yep, Malaysia and Singapore, UK. For Thailand, EU. EU or US also can. They can use oh. both. Yep. So this one comes with a wireless uh, USB mouse. And then yep. the, the rest is still the same, just uh, it don't have a book, right? Yep. Uh, of course, yeah, of course, it will be cheaper, uh, this one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, so the later other one we will is... show... Later, yeah, we will show the product page. Yeah. Okay, next, we also have, uh, this one is complete with full HD monitor, 21.5 inch. Okay, and then the rest is still same uh, as a previous set of uh, Raspberry Pi 400. Sorry, guys, I didn't take my lunch, so this is my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry Pi glass, oh. Oh, Raspberry glass. All the way from UK. But not not the thing is inside the glass the glass only. so uh this one should be the raspberry pi 400 official video so let me check first this need i think they have already oh but okay. it's quite hard to find the official one when you search yeah because they are not that they are not YouTuber, right? Ah, yes. It's quite they are not hard. YouTuber. You, you need to find the channel. You need to find Raspberry Pi channel. Then, or you can show the, the blog first. No, you can show the oh, blog. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, it's correct. Yeah. So, maybe Raspberry. Pi. 
I'm looking at the blog also. Oh, there, there, there. the blog have the video already. It is okay. Yeah. Wait, eh? yeah. so this is the blog. Hey, where is it at the home page or you need to? No, there's a there's a link. You click here, find out more. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can go. No, uh, are there? Okay. There's a video, right? No, ah, uh, this one, this one. Yeah, ah, the video, yeah. There's no audio, this. Oh, wait, okay, nah. Stop sharing. Yeah, it's okay. Let no, me wait. share again. Let me answer some of the questions. There's a new question. So while waiting for Idris, uh, Kenshin. Okay. Is it okay? Again. Audio? Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. I'll play again. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Oh, wait, uh, wait, uh. wait, 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 So it, uh, it seems like it focus more on the productivity uh, as a computer. Okay, that's all for the video. Oh, very short. Uh. <laughs> mm, very short. So you really focus on the, as a computer, not, not as a digital making, maybe. Okay, next. Oh, Drish, uh, you, go to, you go to our Telegram. Telegram? Uh, you know, yeah, our Telegram. Uh, actually, John share a link already. So that link is uh, more proper. That's a block. Actually, block link. Okay, wait. Okay, this one. Oh, okay. Another video. Okay. <laughs> Watch again. Who? 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 Why cannot do that? <laughs> we cannot do that. Who? Also, a short video only. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, but very nice. Straight to the yes. point. So this is the block from uh, Raspberry Pi officially. Uh, so this is their block. Uh, the retail is at 70 USD. Yeah. Okay, so if you can, yes, you can uh, refer to a blog for more information. So uh, this is end of the slide. So next, what we want to show. Uh, let's talk about what you have over there. Uh, so I will try to power up my Raspberry Pi 400. So this one I have uh, I have burned with Raspberry Pi OS. So you can see here, if you want to insert the SD card, you need to push the SD card. And then if you want to take out the SD card, just push again, take, right? Yep, let's push, push, okay. okay. That's a push push. So I will power up my Raspberry Pi. So you can notice they have a indicator for power here. Also the status, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is a, uh, a power and also uh, the micro SD card uh, activity uh, indicator. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. So uh, 
I don't connect the HDMI because I think it's better for because I want to share the screen. It is better with remote. Okay, this one is a oh yeah, uh, good, very fast, pretty fast. Huh? Yes. So this is a desktop uh, as usual. It's a Raspberry Pi OS. And then uh, maybe we can check the RAM. Okay, I have prepared everything. <laughs> so this is command to check uh, RAM. So you can see here maybe, the memory. Maybe yes. you can enlarge the font. How to enlarge the font? <laughs> you get you go to edit. I think edit or view. Edit, oh, okay. Zoom, zoom out. In. Uh, zoom in. Sorry, uh, zoom in. Okay. There's a shortcut key. Ah, uh, but shortcut keys. Difficult to use. Zoom con shift control plus. Okay, I'll try shift control plus. Huh. 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 <laughs> Boom. <laughs> okay, this is uh, you can see 3.7 gig. Yeah, it's four gig. Yeah. And then use 134. So it's total up for four gig. And then another one is a version of the uh, processor a uh, product maybe this is a Raspberry Pi 400 revision 1.0 yep. and then also use the same processor as uh, Raspberry Pi 4 BCM 2711 but the latest version uh, which is C0 so compared to the Raspberry Pi 4 is a B0 okay yep. so what else uh, how to turn off turn off the Raspberry Pi? So uh, instead of you just shut down here, you can use a button. I think it's okay. Later I'll show that. Oh, okay. So maybe just uh, just that. That's all from the from my side. Yeah, from my side. So let's move to my side. So I have two camera. I have three camera actually. <laughs> So this have is a three uh, mouse, right? Three mouse. <laughs> I have two laptop over here. Okay, so this is my 400. So I get a micro SD card. Uh, just now it just show already. I have also a USB drive. So for those that are not familiar with uh, SP Pi boot sequence, if by default, if you have a micro SD card, it will boot for micro SD card. If you don't have it will search in uh, the USB. So this is my HDMI and my HDMI is connected to the screen uh, capture card. So the, that it will show. So I just power it up. So, so this is without even uh, without uh, going into desktop yet. Okay. And this is actually a Noob's uh, uh, SD card with uh, preloaded Noob. Uh. Noob is actually new out of box software for those that uh, uh, new to Raspberry Pi terms. Okay, terms. So if you notice the the LED is blinking, indicating there's uh, activity. Okay, this LED is blinking. So over oh, there, a question here. Yep. Uh, have you guys tried to overclock it to over two gigahertz? Two gig, so, uh, yeah, two gig. If I'm not sure whether you you saw the previous uh, thermal performance, the known the known uh, maximum clock for four B is two point overclock uh, overclock is two point four uh, two point one four seven. So we have actually overclocked this uh, Raspberry Pi four hundred to that frequency. So of course, over that frequency, we haven't tried, okay? Uh, you you are free to try, but as I said, if you overclock it, you void the warranty. Lah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to connect the wireless mouse. Let me just get the dongle out from this Okay, uh, so again, they have a question. This would be suitable for those building a kiosk machine or like uh, all in one, I guess. But it's gonna be messy with so many cables sticking out at the back of the KB. Not sure, it's KB. 
I already keyboard. have everything. Oh, keyboard. keyboard, yes, the keyboard. I already have everything. Wireless preference. Oh, okay, okay. This is a suggestion. Okay. Yes. Understand. Yeah, of course. Of course. So I am in here. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, the default screen if you boot up a new uh, OS, uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Okay. So just to show you the function of uh, the power button. Okay. Uh, let me just shift you over here. You press the function key, then F10. One, two, three. You let go, it will off automatically. Okay. Okay. And to boot it up again, uh, since I'm booting up, so I remove the SD card so that it can, just to show you that it can boot from uh, USB drive. So you just press, you don't need to go and, you know, cycle the power adapter. Just press the F10 key alone, okay? Just press the F10 key, so it will boot up. Okay, mm. you will not fix it, it will boot up. So, because I don't have the micro SD card already, I remove the SD card already. But it can still boot up uh, because I have another OS uh, in the USB stick uh, or USB drive. Let me just... Okay, so the first priority is uh, from the SD card? Uh. Yeah, the first priority is uh, in the SD card. So that, that, that it is kind of convenient also, you can have two uh, OS. So if you don't like to boot from SD card, you just remove it, okay? Uh, but this is quite slow uh, uh, because uh, I'm using one of the slow drive, I think. But if you boot from SSD or M.2, it is quite fast, okay? Mm. I just want to show that uh, you can actually, out of box, out of the box, is ready to boot from USB. So this is Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu uh, 20.10. This one the latest, latest. Yeah, Ubuntu. the latest. Yep, okay. the latest. I haven't really go and uh, explore this, but just to show you guys. Uh. And the function uh, button? Yeah. Okay, 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 just just proceed with the shutdown. So the function, uh, the power button can also apply to uh, other OS, for example, this one. Do we have? No, oh, it doesn't detect. Okay, let Three me seconds. One, two, three ah so you also ask okay so if you don't uh, click it it will automatic shut down in 60 seconds also so i just power it up okay so it means the shutting down from the button is not a false shutdown right it's a still it's, a proper shutdown yeah it's a what we call a safe or a soft shutdown uh, oh. so for example just now the uh, raspberry pi os you can see very fast because it's the os uh very fast, it closed all the program, then it shut down. Oh. So it's not uh, for shutdown, you can still do it if your OS hang, uh, press 10 seconds or uh, more than 10 seconds, then it will force shut down. Okay, so that's uh, that's the thing. What else we like to show? Uh, I would like to show the product page now. Okay, let's check how many left. Uh. <laughs> Right there. We don't have uh, many stock, but hopefully, uh, you know, uh, after few days, the uh, new stock will come in. Uh, but uh, that one we cannot commit also because it's being launched whole world. So every every country want this new keyboard computer. So this is a a single. Raspberry Pi 400 with the yep. US layout. Uh, actually, they have a uh, hundred, right? They will be, the stock should be hundred. So means, yeah, yeah. To, you still to units have been, yes. So it yep. it is limit to two units per customer. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, the price is three hundred twenty nine. Yeah, okay. definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. If you check, uh, 4B is three, uh, 200, I can't remember, I think 265 or 69, something like that. Mm -hmm. If you add a keyboard, keyboard itself is 70 already. Yes, keyboard and then a huge heat sink. Uh, so with, with the 400, you don't need any more case. 
okay don't go and buy a case for the 400 because <laughs> you buy a bag for it okay la, uh, you buy a laptop bag uh, to keep it then it's maybe okay. they maybe later they have a skin like a skin keyboard skin <laughs> sorry maybe later they have a like a keyboard skin skin cover <laughs> Like a silicone one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they 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 have that. Uh. Yeah. They have okay, that. Uh, and then uh, about the kit, so they have a few bundle here, with a uh, mouse bundle. Yeah, mouse and keyboard. A uh, wireless uh. This is wireless mouse and keyboard. This is wired official mouse. This From Raspberry Pi. Okay. Yep. Uh, or then... still US layout. Yep. So this is okay. the okay so this okay, uh so. this uk la, this uk and we also have that uh this is complete complete computer kit uh with a 22 inch ips display and a built-in speaker on that monitor so you get this monitor you don't need to get any more uh, uh speaker la, standalone speaker oh so means this one is really complete a computer complete set of complete computer yeah and uh, what's the price huh? like the price uh, is uh they have a discount here five percent so the price is 898 oh okay so we, you with this price you get the complete computer with 22 inch ips display monitor uh, i think it's worth it because if you get a laptop also you know a desktop and you get the power of Raspberry Pi lah. okay so we have a video there okay. oh whoa no video mm -hmm. I, uh, it is there's mm. a two more question no okay sorry uh, the F10 shutdown functionality is only for the Raspberry Pi 400 or for all Pi's uh, for Raspberry Pi 400 only that's by 400 only because it that that function if you use it on other keyboard the other keyboard send the signal through the usb so uh if you notice there's no uh, button on f10 uh, the power icon on f10 for other keyboard mm. only 400 yes. okay yeah only 400 okay then and next, how is the response on keyboard when pressing? Uh, can can we show? I I'm not sure how can we show that. Can we show that? But it, uh, clicky la. I can see it's a click, little clicky. Uh, I'm not sure how to show it, but uh, I'm okay using it la. Just just of course when you change from laptop to this kind of keyboard, uh, you have some uh, uh not not familiar the feeling of not familiar uh, uh, normally our keyboard is not mini layout this is mini layout uh. so you, some of the key you might miss it uh. but the feeling is okay how, how about you this yeah I, I, I like the clicky the, the, okay. the button is clicky and just nice well, that's that's the only thing that we cannot show it live yeah. <laughs> you know how to the show feeling it. It, the feeling of it okay. <clears throat> Okay, and then another one is a uh, this one's uh, a kit without a monitor. The monitor, yeah, without monitor. Also, they have a discount here, three percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We we a wireless mouse uh, instead of the wired mouse. Uh, you so can we... consider using with uh maybe you have a HDMI TV. You can use uh, Raspberry Pi with your TV. Yeah. So what you you would like to do with Raspberry Pi 400 over? Um, maybe I set up a station over here. Uh, we do a lot of testing for Raspberry Pi also. Uh, I'll, I'll get one for my daughter, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because uh, for me personally, uh, this one is more to, it functions more to uh, a computer, a complete computer, a productivity. Uh, not really suitable for uh, digital making because uh, I prefer a single board uh, Raspberry Pi 4 for uh, like you want to 
create an IoT project. Okay, yeah. because this one is complete with the keyboard. So uh, that's that's my opinion. Yep. But I will try to to I will try to do some uh, explore on the GPIO here how we like to to use it. Okay. So just uh, wait for my video. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Looking forward. <laughs> okay, so next. Anything you want to share over? Nothing we else. Have uh, nothing else for me. Uh, yeah. uh, another question. Another question. Any ten? Eh, any eleven eleven sales for Pi Four? Uh, I don't think so. But uh, it's not me to say that. Uh, so, uh, we will ask uh, the marketing team and see that. Uh, but I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> So I think especially that's all. especially yeah. for i four hundred lah, definitely no yes. sales run. because it's new launch. Yes, you can get the kit lah. They have a uh, they have a discount like five percent, three percent. You can get now. Right. This one five percent for uh, nine hundred forty two is still big, so you can get a big portion of the discount. Okay, this one is a complete a computer for uh, Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Uh, any more question from the floor, from the audience, from the uh, viewer, YouTube, and also Facebook? I think Facebook is quite a lot uh, yes. compared to YouTube. YouTube is uh, one only for the time being. One one comment, uh, one question, one person, one person comment. Uh. Mm -hmm. If no, then we will we will end it. Uh, we'll end the live very soon. Okay. Yes. So you can visit our website and then check the product Raspberry Pi 400. Okay. They have a few product variant there. And then just, if you are interested, just buy because this time we have a uh, ready stock compared to the previous yeah. micro B, V2 yeah. and uh, compute module Same 4. Top. We don't have, uh, we don't have a ready stock. This one, we have a ready stock. So you can try it. Okay, so that's all, over. That's all, that's all for me. So I, okay. I can grab my lunch now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, bye. Bye. Uh, see you, see you uh, Thursday. Thursday we have a new product. New product, yes. Uh, okay, bye. bye.